All right, here we are, day three of our countdown project. We're going to take the two items that we have cut out from day one, which is the foundation back, and day two, which is the hand-drawn pieces, and we're going to take all of those and start putting some things together before we move on to getting some of the layers done. So let's go over to this our demo table and we are going to start putting things together, coloring them, adding some real pizzazz. So here we are. I've got a number of things laid out. I've already started coloring some of the pieces I'm working on. Now I can use a variety of things when I go to do some coloring. I've used some lunar paste and I'll show you how to use that quite simply. You don't have to spread it, but you can certainly make a big difference with using some lunar paste in place of acrylic paint, but you can use acrylics if you want. And then I'm using these glaze pens from Sakura. And they have a number of colors, and I do believe we have 16 pens in here. I've used yellow for the moon, as you can see here. And this is a brownish color. It looks sort of red from here on the fence. And I've used a blue one here so far with all of the different parts and pieces. So, and I notice I got a little bit on there, but that's okay because we're going to flip that one over. All right, so let's start with our tree here. We're going to be doing some colors on here. Let's just make sure I get everything out of the way. These ones are going to be drying while we're working on the rest. Okay, for the tree, I have a little trick here that I'm using, and I haven't got a blue on here, so this is a blue lunar paste. And I have a piece in the middle here. Just take that out, a little extra. But I'm just using a simple dowel here, and all I'm doing is just dabbing into the lunar paste because I want little globs of paint here. You can see the little glob and I'm going down here on the tree maybe I can lift it up a little bit here on the tree so all we're going to do is just take the end here and just blobbing it into place I'm gonna have too many lights on this one but that's okay and they're just indicating where we have some lights here now just let me just turn this a bit and we'll just add one more. I've got a little on the extra on the edge. Just grab a little blob. There we go. That's a nice blue light. And maybe I'll add one more in here. And that's all there is to it for using the lunar paste as part of the tree and adding some lights to it. So let me just put that down and dry. Now you can use the same kind of effect when it comes to, say, for, uh, let's just grab this one where I added what I call the glaze inside, but you can add a little bit of extra color in behind if you want. I'll just do it on one. And I'm just using a dowel to just dab some extra little color for things that are showing in behind. Just little ways to do things. And that's all I'm going to do for this particular one. So I just want to give you some ideas of things that you could then um, make a difference on these. But I'm going to use mostly the pens for the rest of this. But I just want to give you an idea. I have several of these lunar pastes in different colors. So we can use them again at a later time. All you need to do is just clean your dowel. And that's it. Now, for these pens, of course, what's really nice about the glaze pen, it is just, it absolutely puffs up. So I don't have to, you know, make a lot of stroke lines. What it's going to do is you're going to be able to see the liquid in here. Just comes up with liquid, which is really nice because I don't have to go right to the edges with all of it. I can just gradually work my way in there and then we're going to have to set these aside to dry for just a few minutes it doesn't take long as you can see it's liquidy it seems to adhere to the lines so let me just go over here 
And this is a glaze pen by Sakura. I just love the Sakura pens. There's all kinds of different styles that you can use with them. You could use pencil crayons if you wish. You know, no need to use this type of puff. The puff just gives it sort of an extra texture. Just grab this up here. Just grab this extra piece right here. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside for a second. I'm just going to move it out of the way so I don't get my arms in it. And we'll move the tree out of the way for a minute or two until it gets some dry as well. Now, I cut my Santa out differently than I did for um, the way I showed you. You could put it as one. So I'm going to actually have my Santa come through on the moon. So I can just add a little glue to the back end of it. And the glue I'm going to use today is a glitter art glitter glue. Designer dries clear. And I just need a small dab on the bottom here. Actually, that seems to be quite a lot. So I'm going to just use my fingers. And I'm going to decide how I want Santa to come across the moon. That looks pretty good. Okay, we have one part done. Now we've got some other coloring that we're going to be doing. Just put the cap on this. Some other colors that we're going to be adding. Now I've added a little extra color in this one. I'm not going to bother with this one, but I've just colored these blue. So you can add some other colors in between. And these Sakura pens, they have a lot of different colors here. They have a bright pink. Uh, we have the blue I was using. There's a black. There's a purple. And there's kind of a pinkish color. Now when you first start them, you're going to have to pull the little nib off the end. And let's just go for this one really easy to apply just to get some extra color. Now you can color yours any way you want. I'm just going to color this one and then I'm going to have to set it aside to dry because I want us to start working on putting together our foundation. Okay, so let me just put these pens aside. I will take them out of the way. Move them over here. Okay, so now we've got another little design to dry. I'll stick it over here, and I'll move these ones over to this side. So now we've got two sets of them here. Now what we want to do here is we have our foundational piece. And you'll notice it had a couple of little flaps that come up. I want you to pull those up just like that. And this is where our background piece is going to sit in. Now we have two score lines here. And I know sometimes they're hard to see the score lines, but I'm going to fold them in. I don't want to fold them too stiff. If you crisp them up too much, it probably won't work. Now this is going to fit into our two little tabs here. And you may be wondering why we bothered with the tabs. Well, the reason we put the tabs together is we want the back to stand up without a lot of extra glue. So this is what it looks like right here. Now we can decorate it while it's up, but I'm going to pull it out and we are going to decorate. Now we're going to stay at the top part here. And the reason we're staying at the top part is we have a number of layers, and I'll just show you our sample here. We have a number of layers that come up. So you only have a small amount. We've added a couple of inches here. So you've got about two and a half inches that you can work with at the top. So let's start with the two and a half inches to work with. So let's grab our tree. And I'm going to add some more glue here. Let's grab our glue off. I know I've got approximately two and a half inches. Let me grab a little ruler here. I've got this small ruler. So I know 
about two and a half inches approximately here so I just want to have everything to the bottom here I don't want it to go any differently so let me just grab my tree a little glue on it this is right in the background I'm going to put the tree into the corner that looks pretty good now I know I put a little extra glue at the top, so let me just wipe that down. We'll just glue the tree into place. Now we've got the moon and a Santa. And these are going to be kind of in the background. Let's see, where's my Santa? He's here. But I can poke him up over the top. And so I'm just going to glue the bottom piece here. I'm going to put my Santa up in the next corner. Remember, these are hand-drawn items, so you can get your whole family to play around with the hand-drawn. Now, the only thing that will be shown most of the time are the top area over here and the side edges, and we have all of this area over here in order to work with it. Now, I want to put my fences up next. Now with the fence, what I want to do is come down to the level of the tree. Better turn it up the right way. See, that would be the top of the fence, and that would be the bottom. Kind of want to match it to the tree. There we go. Still a little bit damp. And I have my other fence piece over here. It's not quite dry. However, I can still glue it into place. And match it on this side. There we go. So we've got the fence in place and now we have all of our Christmas balls that we're going to use to decorate some of the sides here. And it depends on how you want to do this. I'm just going to put one up in the top here. Pull this one down next to it down here and the last one you can color these in later as well I'm going to have a third one on this side because this side we have our fence so we only have room for two keep them over to the side and over here. Okay, so now we have our background piece all put together. Let me just shut my glue. This is going to look really cute. We can now place it. Just get it in there and get it in on this side and then just adjust it to where we want it. So now we are ready to start adding some of our other layers. So this is the way it's going to look. Hopefully you can see all of that. We've got the background decoration. Now I know it doesn't look like much now, but when we start adding the other pieces, it is going to look sensational. Now tomorrow we're going to look at the very back layer and then the day after put that together. So that is our day three. Let's get on to day four tomorrow.